He was called the man who never dies, a man of extraordinary knowledge, wealth, and seemingly endless life. The Count of Saint Germain, an enigmatic figure of 18th century Europe, has left behind a legacy shrouded in mystery. Was he a master alchemist, an immortal, or something even more incredible? Today, will unravel the fascinating tale of this legendary figure. The true origins of the Count of Saint Germain are as elusive as the man himself. Some say he was born in the late 1600s, while others claimed he hailed from Transylvania or Portugal. He was believed to be the son of a deposed European prince, but no solid records ever confirmed his birth. What we do know is that Saint Germain first appeared in European high society in the 1740s, seemingly out of nowhere. He quickly charmed the courts of Europe, mingling with royalty, scholars and artists. He spoke multiple languages fluently, French, German, Italian, Spanish, even Sanskrit. But more than that, he claimed to have knowledge of events that had occurred centuries before his supposed birth, fueling the rumors that he was far older than he appeared. Saint Germain was a man of many talents. He was a musician, composer, scientist, linguist, and chemist. His musical compositions were admired by the likes of Handel and other composers of his time. But what truly captivated his peers was his apparent knowledge of alchemy, the ancient mystical art of turning base metals into gold, and the quest for immortality. Saint Germain was often seen conducting experiments in his laboratory, and many claimed he had discovered the secret to eternal youth. According to some accounts, he was able to turn iron into gold and diamonds into larger, flawless gems. But whether he achieved these feats, or simply charmed his audience, remains a mystery. As the Count moved through European high society, rumors of his immortality spread like wildfire. People claimed that Saint Germain had been seen at the court of King Louis XIV of France, appearing the same as he did decades later at the court of Louis XV. He never seemed to age, always looking no older than 40, and never seen eating in public, which only added to the mystery. One of the most famous accounts comes from the 1700s, when the Countess von Jordi, a close friend of Saint Germain, claimed to have met him in Venice in 1710, and again 50 years later in Paris. To her astonishment, he hadn't aged a day, how could a man appear unchanged over half a century? As his legend grew, so did his enemies. Saint Germain's strange experiments and eccentric behavior made him a target of suspicion. Eventually, he was forced to flee France, taking refuge in various parts of Europe. Yet even in exile, he remained influential maintaining contact with European nobility and scholars. He was linked to secret societies, like the Freemasons and the Rosicrucians, organizations deeply involved in mystical and esoteric knowledge. Some even believed that Saint Germain was more than human, a member of a secret brotherhood tasked with guiding humanity's spiritual evolution. Official records suggest that Saint Germain died in 1784 in Germany. But, as with his life, his death was far from straightforward. After his supposed passing, there were continued sightings of the Count all over Europe. Some claim he was seen in France during the French Revolution, offering advice to revolutionaries. Others say he was present at various spiritual gatherings into the 19th century. Madame Blavatsky, 
the founder of Theosophy, even wrote that Saint Germain was still alive in the late 1800s, sharing his wisdom with a select few. Saint Germain's legend only grew after his death, and today he remains a figure of fascination. Some believe he achieved immortality through alchemy or spiritual mastery. Others see him as a con artist, a man who used charm and intellect to manipulate the elite of his time. He has appeared in countless books, movies, and conspiracy theories, always as a figure tied to the secret mysteries of the world. Whether he was an immortal alchemist, a brilliant polymath, or simply a man who lived his life in extraordinary ways. The Count of Saint Germain remains one of history's greatest enigmas. What do you think? Was the Count of Saint Germain an immortal alchemist? Or simply a man who became a legend? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more mysteries from the Diversity Verse.